The grill at this Saskatoon restaurant might be hot, but thanks to COVID, business has cooled. People, they don't feel very safe to go out. And that's why the business is slow. Two years of staying home, masking, social distancing, and then vaccinating to tamp COVID spread has left many Canadians desperate for anything normal. And the idea of living with this coronavirus is no longer novel. Moving forward, we'll be treating COVID the way we treat, uh, say, the seasonal flu or, or other respiratory viruses that, that, uh, that, that are circulating within the community. Annual vaccines and common sense, hand washing and staying home when sick, will be our safety nets as experts move away from recommending stringent restrictions. A new study out of Johns Hopkins University suggests pandemic lockdowns were not effective at reducing mortality rates globally and a growing list of countries are already opening up most recently Denmark and Sweden. They're in a completely different situation than we are regarding ICUs. Their ICU numbers are actually going down. A key indicator in making the move to return to normal. Although hospitalization numbers in Ontario and Quebec appear to have plateaued, across Western Canada, they are still rising. Manitoba, BC and Saskatchewan with record numbers this week. The burden is largely saddled from those reopening plans when they don't go so well on the frontline healthcare system. Making timing critical and specific to each province. If we see another surge, then we've taken the wrong decision or somebody wasn't listening to the, to the evidence as it was going in. Let's treat it carefully and cautiously. With the goal of a spring or summer with fewer masks and mandates, but new variants remain a variable too.